Jackie? You're very interested in, uh, in technology. That's where you're, the sector you're working in. Um, this evening, we've been talking about public acceptance. We've been talking about technology. Do you think technology can save transport? Can it make it? Can we hit those targets by relying on technology? Can we hit 2030 and 2050 targets with technology alone? Uh, I'm not sure we can hit it with technology alone. It's certainly going to play a significant role, but I. I think uh, government policy and, uh, and customer acceptance of new technologies and the right technologies are going to be uh, an important piece of the puzzle. So. What are the new technologies that are most exciting in the transport sector at the moment? Well, I'm, I'm with a company called Westport Innovations. We've developed a high-pressure direct injection fuel system technology that allows a diesel engine to effectively run on um, gaseous fuels, biogas, uh, natural gas, and still retain its dieselness. So its diesel performance, its diesel efficiency, um, and, uh, and at the same time operate on a cheaper, cleaner uh, fuel. Cleaner both from an emissions point of view and from a greenhouse gas emissions point of view. What's your opinion about some of the other types of uh, transport technologies, for example, um, hydrogen? Uh, what, what do you think about those other ones? Or do you think, do you think we're, we're best sticking with the internal combustion engine as we have it at the moment, as, as, as you're describing? I'm not sure hydrogen precludes an internal combustion engine either. So uh, um, hydrogen certainly has its challenges, and um, but you know. Over the long run, uh, I can see it playing a role. I mean, there's going to be a number of different technologies that are going to play a significant role in in, uh, in the future shape of transportation uh, 20, 30 years down the road. I think with uh, natural gas and biogas right now, I think what's uh, particularly intriguing is that it's a technology that can readily displace uh, oil quickly. Um, uh, there's lots of it. Um, it's, uh, it has different geopolitical elements to it, so energy security uh, is an important feature for governments and, uh, and, and provides some real benefits there, depending on which part of the world you're from. Um, and, uh, and so uh, and I think a lot of people feel that it's a, it's a great transitional fuel to something like hydrogen. It gets uh, customers comfortable with gaseous fuels and, uh, and um, the technology that's associated with them.